Hello. Hi. These jeans like don't let me sit. I'm Kira. I'm Molly. And it's bright in here. Today we're gonna do a really fun arts and crafts project. You know what we're gonna do? Well, I see pots. Yes. <clears throat> oh. These are they're not stretchy jeans. When we did our potting our rubber plant a few weeks ago, I mentioned that this was actually a fresh terracotta pot. This actually was a fresh terracotta pot and I wanted it to look dirty. So I soaked it in garden lime and I took a The outside sander. is one thing. The inside Doesn't it is look what's... cool? If you want to see a video on how I make my fresh terracotta pots look like the cool inside is what's dirty. Let us know in the comments and I will make one. Two whole people commented that they wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> My this is a very, very highly sought after video. Thank you for commenting on our video. <laughs> and um, now this is just for you and anyone else. This is for you. Who wants to see it? So essentially what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to take a fresh terracotta pot that looks like this. It looks so much better. And make it look like this. because. Mm -hmm. You don't this want is something beautiful. It makes you look like a noob. This is nice. No. And then that's like disgusting it's, and old. No. You don't want this look then. Watch another one of our videos. But I think it looks really cool and it's super easy to do and it's fun. Arts and grass. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, cool. So here's what you need. Obviously, you need your pots. So I got a bunch of these little pots at Home Depot the other day because I'm going to do a big repotting. People can see you now. I'm just doing some things. <laughs> First, what you need is obviously the terracottas. Probably you would want to peel off these stickers off camera. We're gonna lay down our newspaper because Molly is very good about keeping this apartment clean. I am not and I'm trying to be better. We have this big bag of garden lime. Garden lime is Dolomitic <laughs> limestone pellets. I actually didn't. I don't yeah, know. what is it? I don't know exactly what it is, to be honest. We recommend wearing gardening gloves while using this product. So. Where are our gloves? <gasps> okay, here are your plastic bags for your paws. Thank you. Gardening lime is pelletized <gasps> dolomitic limestone. Oh. What gloves will you use? I'm not gonna wear these gloves. I don't care. Danger. Do I brought this just in case <gasps> you need it too. I have to you. She likes to be prepared. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up garden lime and water and we're gonna paint them onto the terracotta, let it dry, then take a sander. I just discovered these like reusable sander um sanding sponges, which I think are really cool. This is what we're using. You can also just use a regular sander, like a little one like this, put your sandpaper on it. Then what we're gonna do is once the lime is dry, it's gonna be sort of this coating of mud. How long does it take to dry? Like 10 minutes. And then we're gonna sand it off. And some people spray a coating around it. But the first time I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wash the pot afterwards. So like some of the excess comes out, then it just goes back to normal. So don't wash, wash the thing off. Don't wash the pot. But what I do is I sand it so it looks like there's like a little bit of grit on it, but I don't seal it because I want my terracotta to still act like terracotta. Terracotta is a porous medium. So when you pot your plants in here, the porous nature of the clay lets the water sort of evaporate. So it helps with, um, you know, being more fast draining so your plants don't get root rot. So when you seal it in, it seals the terracotta and then it becomes like ceramic. So we don't want to do that, but we also don't want to wash it all the way off. So we have to have a happy medium. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started by pouring our garden lime into our bowl. I just did about a half a cup of the garden lime and then I'm going to start it looks like really good cocoa pebbles. <laughs> it does kind of look like cocoa pebbles. It smells. It doesn't smell great. Oh, it smells horrible. Mm. You're doing really good. Let me get a little bit of that. 
You really should be wearing clothes. <laughs> you like this? Yeah. Just do a very thin layer because you're gonna sand it off and you don't want it to be too thick. So this is what we're working with. Looks like this. And now we're waiting for it to dry. Grab your sponge or sander, depending on what you have. And this is the final step. You just literally will start sanding And it's sort of like art because you just want to sand it as much as you think looks good. What if you don't think it looks good? Well, <laughs> that's up to you and that's okay. And you're just doing me a favor by doing my first. <laughs> Basically what you're doing is you're just sanding off all of the extra lines. You're gonna leave little bits and pieces where the terracotta pokes through. You're gonna leave some pieces where there's more lime. Interesting. I should have put my gloves on. Okay, that's mine. Good job. Do you like mine? I do. Do you like mine? Yeah, yours is nice. Mm -hmm. Molly has chosen to leave on all of her lime. I've taken off most of mine, so you can see a little bit what the difference looks like here. But again, it's artistic. There's no greater wrong There's no in art. interpretation. And then you plot your plants, and there you go. You've got a weathered looking terracotta. Mold appealing. Pot that once was new and now is old. Well, maybe I'll just work just a little bit more. Get some of that. Well, there you go, folks. Those two people. This is how we do it. Hope. I hope it wasn't underwhelming. Very hope easy. It wasn't everything you thought it would be, and that you can do it too. And if you like this video, then Ugh. please Ugh. support us by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And don't forget to hit that little bell thing because I think that means bell. that you'll check out our new videos when they come out. So we ordered dinner.